Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a drop down menu. You can see we have a we have a a main dot pie with the, the screen manager. You can check that previous video for screen manager if you do not understand this. So just go and start. In our first screen we define a spinner. Um, spinner takes text. It also takes uh, takes values. But before we get to that, we have to <coughs> pass in a size. So size is root dot width of four point. Let's give it four, and root dot height of four point four five. And for the position, we have to be. Uh, we want to be centered. So root dot width of 4.3 there's a typo here and uh, root dot height of 0.5 and for for the text it's passing drop down this way and for the values for the values, we have to pass in something like this. So item one, you can choose text from whatever you want. So now we have item four and item three, item two, this way. You can see that I have a TTF in here. So we change the font name name to uh, uh, one you can ignore this I think uh, that's all you can see that we have a drop down uh, now you can see the item height is different than the uh, the parent so we have to pass in something which is called sync height and it is the boolean we have we pass it true and we also need a function so because what do we want exactly <laughs> we want to when we click on the item we have to able to grab what's in it so we know that we have selected this okay so let's go here and say font text and in here we pass in we pass in a, a function so we call it select it's just like an on press for a button we give an id so id is drop simply and in here when we come here we define the function we pass in select and it takes self and in here we want to print the uh, self dot ids dot drop dot text So now, when we click on the the items, you can see that we are printing which item we have selected. Let's uh, maybe change the uh, let's customize a little bit the the, the looking of our uh, app. So we come here, we do a canvas before. You want to a white rectangle, so just the color. The GPA <coughs> is one 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 for white, and we pass in a rectangle with the size of the screen, so root dot width and root dot height. This way. okay but now you can see that the items looks maybe almost the same as the the spinner so to change that we have to we have to add this so option cls and it takes factory which is something we have to import inside the kiwi 
and before that let me just come here and import it so import factory and give it dot factory dot factory this way and in here we have to create a, a custom a custom class so we call it sp for spinner short for spinner and inside we pass in and afterwards we pass in spinner options or spinner spinner option i think and this has to be gaps okay and in here we change the color maybe something that is observable we give it uh, we want it to be red something noticeable okay and in here we pass in sp uh, let's hope we did we didn't do any uh, typos factory of course factory okay now you can see that we have changed the uh, the color of the text in here we maybe uh, maybe passing also a font this way you can see it changed we can also maybe change the uh, background background color let's uh, pass in maybe uh, a point four and also a point four oh and uh, one maybe this way okay let's check it out and see if it works okay you can see that we have changed that and that's all for the uh, that's all for the uh, for the drop down you can find the source code in the description and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you guys